four. Part four. I'm feeling old now. Man, we're of our custom showcase. We're we are these. flying yeah. through we this. We are right going now. through it. Yeah. In part one, we checked out twenty-four. Yep. Custom figures that were created, shrunk-down versions of cosplays for the Halo Championship Series final. In part two, we looked at Buster's work. In part three, we looked at Riot's work. And part four, we are looking at Townie's work. Wow. Without further ado, let's check out some of his custom work. In the last episode, we took a look at Silent Shadow alongside so many other figures. So please do check out that part. And this is the work of Townie Customs. Now, these are the three figures that he produced for the Halo Championship Series final. And if you want to see more details on them, check out part one. Today, we have five figures. Well, five and a half figures, I hmm. guess, that he sent us to have a look at. <laughs> what, what head is that, dude? I think it's green stuff. You, I think you do? Yeah, I think it is. It's oh a, my god, you think that's green stuff? I'm pretty sure. Oh my goodness. It's, it's spooky. That is super spoopy. Oh, look at that. Is it That's epic. Oh, that's epic. All right, that, that's, that's um, gonna age restrict our channel, Strandy. Oh no. All right, we got five figures. So we're obviously gonna start with the basics. Start where it all started yeah. in Halo with the CE Master Chief. A lovely metallic green, like G Customs Creations uh, is in the house with us and he was really admiring this uh, color choice earlier today, right? He really like, enjoyed really, it. Really, really gorgeous. And look at that pistol. So we don't actually know whose this Magnum is, so uh, if we get any more information, we'll pin it down below. But this is our C E Chief. What an absolutely gorgeous metallic it's green. so good. Yeah, really happy with that. What do you want to look at next, Randy? Yeah, I think we're going to look at the uh, Oceanic real quick. It is a unique figure. Yeah, so steampunk yes. vibes. Steampunk to the max. Mm. So he's also, I'm not sure where this gun came from. No, right. But yeah, it's- I it's assume a, it's 3D printed if it's with the figure. But it looks great. Look at this guy. I've, I, I honestly, I've never seen a custom uh, paint job like this as in the, uh, in terms of the colors. I'm really enjoying it. And it works. It's exactly what you think an oceanic mm. would look like. Like mm. those old, uh, diver suits they used yeah, to have. Right, I mean, particularly with Oceanic. It, yeah, yeah, I do get those old diver vibes with yep. like the mossy the green, bronze. the rust bronze. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really love that. We've got an air assault here and there's quite a few pieces. We've got the Dougie trauma kit, I've been told, and the soft case. So that's Dougie's work. And these shoulders are trimmed versions of one of LS3D prints as well. Look at that line, dude. It's so good. I don't understand how a 3D printer can make that line. I just don't, I don't think I'll ever understand. Apparently this tack pad is green stuff. It's uh, my favorite like addition uh, in the guy. Like I always have this tack pad on. And a kit bashed SMG of some sort. That's kind of cool. I folded thought that back. was broken for a second there, but yeah, it's folded back. That's actually really dope. And let's get a zoom in on that oh, chest. Wow. Wow. Let's see what's going on there. Wow. Wait. It's nuts. No, but I he didn't can't... paint that though. Oh, I mean, that's some else? like vinyl application. Wow. How about that? CQB, ah. new articulation. I've held quite a few new articulation CQBs in my hand before Mega actually brought it back this year in Infinite Series 3 blind bags. And I'm enjoying it now as well. You know what it is, right? It was the original oh, vote. The, uh, figure vote between Haunted. Oh, uh, was it a gray CQB in that picture? Yeah. Oh. It was Haunted, a Flood Elite, CQB, and, and Thrall, Thrall Slayer. Slayer. Just as for Thrall Slayer. Yep. Um, well, uh, the, I thought, because the uh, there was an old articulation version of this CQB it that was. came in an armory pack, so yep. I didn't know if it was that. So, that. Right on, yeah. This was my personal vote for that. I it. it a part of my soul is complete seeing this in person. And this is an LS3D Prince head as well. Well, I don't know. I, CQB was the bottom of my list for the fan vote, to be honest Sad. with you. Sad. It was, it was. Sad. It's just, I we love, got a lot of Spawn helmets. I, I wanted for Hell Slayer, dude. I loved the original and I really mm. wanted it back. Mm. But that man. leaves one more figure and um, talk about oh wild. Boy, we've got this, a Noble Six infected by the flood. We better drop a nuke on this guy. Is this it Noble is... 6 or is it a Mark 4, Mark 7? Oh, it's a Mark 7 actually, yeah. Yep. A Mark 7 Spartan and uh, we better prime the nukes and the warheads ready to drop on this thing because we cannot let this leave the planet. Look at these tentacles, dude. That's some of the really coolest ones I've nice. seen so far. Yeah, because I've seen a lot over my time, a lot mm -hmm. of like kind of attempts at flood tentacles and usually it's like green stuff that, that doesn't quite hit what, what I want, but this is is exactly it. But this is this pretty is exactly good stuff. It. Yeah, and I love how it's just one half the body as well, and then slightly seeping out the eyes. Let's let's let the macro lens do its work and just bask in the horror of this figure for a real quick second. Ugh. That's oh man. 
wild. Yeah, I think the camera's actually picking that up better than my eyes can, to be honest with you. Wow. Whoa, the camera's really having a good time with that. That is insane. Yeah, yeah. So this is the badass work of Townie Customs, and I've had a great time showcasing his work today. So thanks to Townie for sending all these extra figures that we're gonna now ship back to you. It was a delight to actually be able to showcase this work. And make sure to stop by next time for some seriously cool looking custom figures. Shout out to you all, you stay awesome, you stay safe, and the steampunk Oceanic is signing off.